Hey guys, welcome back to my house, my basement. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that visit at Davin's place. Uh, Davin has a great layout and it's always a great time when we all get together. Um, it's just, it's just the friendship that we've all forged in this hobby. And when we get together, it's, it's always a great time. Um, I will post a link to Facebook uh, and you guys can see Davin's site. Um, yeah, great guy, great bunch of guys that we get to play with there at the at Davin's place, um, like I say, always a great time. Okay, so um, back to the helix construction here. What I like to do is I like to have a four inch clearance between each revolution of the helix. So we already know that in order to establish our helix, it has to be built as levels. And then on each level that we're building, we lay the core, we lay the track, we do everything that we're set to up to this point. Um, I've already drilled the holes in the corners that's gonna hold the thread rod. And now I need to set the elevations between each revolution of the helix. So I like the four inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some four inch pieces of scrap. Um, I'm gonna make about three of them and I'm gonna use that to set my elevations. So let me go cut that and we'll get back and I'll show you how I'm going to try to tackle this project. So just to make my my jig to help me um, establish each revolution and the elevation that I'm going to need. Yeah, I just cut some uh, some scrap pieces of wood like it's it's we don't need to make anything complicated. It, it doesn't it, there's no rocket science in this. Um, all I just did was cut four inch scrap uh, pieces of well, of the plywood that I had, and I just cut a four inch scrap. I need four inches to do, and then all I'm gonna do is just um, secure it like this and make uh, a piece so that I can, it'll help me establish each revolution of the helix. Um, if you guys have help and a lot of hands, hey, great, power to you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is what uh, I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna build a couple of these and uh, we'll get right back to the videos. So, just a simple bracket, just like this. And then I can set this up around the, the four points of the helix to help me establish the revolution. So let's get into the helix build. So now that we have our brackets built, we can go ahead and start raising the uh, revolutions of the helix. So I've already fitted in this piece, but you can see how easy this will be to, 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 uh, to establish our grades. So this has to be flat against the top of the rail. So we're gonna use our rail height and then we'll have our four inch elevation between each level. So we'll go ahead and I fit these four inch pieces right at the, right at the thread rod. And that'll establish our, our turns on, on the helix. And then from this, I'll have to, I'll have to set my height from the bench work. And that's how we will make our elevation. So now you can see how, how actually simple it is. And we're going to go ahead and work on the thread rod to make sure that these elevations uh, stay true and correct. What I'm trying to establish for, for my viewers is I'm trying to take the mystery out of how something is built. Like I'm no extravagant carpenter. I, I'm just an average guy, but I, what I'm trying to do is trying to help you guys see how something that, that looks like an undaunting task, I, I'm trying to make it easy and, 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 I'm, and I'm trying to help and show you guys. So I'm glad that I can do this and, and, I, and I like to share my knowledge. So if you guys have any questions, definitely, uh, type in the questions or send me an email. I put my email, my personal email on the uh, YouTube channel. So send me those and I'd be happy to answer all the questions for you guys. Like uh, I do watch the comments and I will definitely answer. So yeah, let's, uh, let's build this together. So now on each revolution of the helix, we're gonna start stabilizing this. Each one of these is gonna be done the same. So on our, our piece of thread rod, it's going to be a washer first, which brings us through the first layer. It needs another washer. 
we need a double nut. And you can understand what this, why I call this the jam nut. So you bring that down and through. You're going to need another two nuts on the thread rod. Another washer. That'll go through. And you just thread that out. You guys can use a... I, I put a... Uh, cordless drill on the top before each layer every helix you build will be like this if it was just one giant layer then you only have one long piece of, of um, thread rod but at least you can you can understand so we bring that through so I have enough clearance on each side oops just drop the top one I'm gonna thread that back down I want to thread the nut up so it matches the top. I need to bring my jig over a bit. I want to drop that top layer just a tad. We tighten these two. I'll get a wrench to tighten that. And then you thread this nut up. And once this, once you have that top one tightened and you thread this up and it, they call that a jam nut. Now that, those two are locked together and then this won't back off with vibrations and and whatever you encounter on your railroad. So you do the same and if we had a, a helix with multi-levels we'll do the same thing for that. And then uh, the very bottom, my washer and my nut. Now you can't put Loctite on these ones because we need this to be able to adjust it if we had to. Um, on the top and on the bottom, we could put Loctite and that would lock the, the nut in. But you know what, just honestly, just tightening it with um, an open end wrench, the two is suffice for, um, for strength. So I'm just gonna continue with this throughout the uh, rest of the Helix build and I will frame that little part, part in and uh, and then we'll, we'll continue with the build. And when I've stated that I've used a cordless drill in the past, I, you can put the cordless drill actually on the thread rod itself. Now you see everything is spinning. Well, now when you hold the nut, it'll travel up and catch the other nut. Oops, let's take that back again. another little uh, easy trick to to thread on the rods and the and the nuts so now you guys can see how the helix comes together and coming up I just laid this little piece of plywood just so you could see where it's going to come up to the next level and up front is where I now need to come across the front here so I can um, build my track to the passive staging and have a selector plate to find the track that you're going to need for uh, for the staging yard. But uh, hey, you can see the progress. So now I need to work on the rest of the track to come into the staging, into the helix. So you guys can see that and uh, we'll keep you posted. But for now, the helix is in. And like I said, I just got that little bit of stuff to fill in here. And now it's time to uh, work on the staging itself. So there you have it guys, uh, the Helix is in. Um, if you're building your Helix, you just keep that same progress going as you're going up the Helix. Uh, it, the construction is, is, is pretty simple once you break down the uh, sections of it. So I'm gonna carry on with the staging construction and bringing that up to the rotations of the Helix. But uh, yeah, so keep with us. And uh, like I was just talking about with the friendships in the hobby, um, 
as you can see, it, everybody gets together um, it, it, and it's great. It's great to have the friends and the, and the connections that we make. If there's something that you're lacking, a friend can pick it up and help you with uh, the construction on your layout. So friendships are great. And I have friends that I've had since I was a teenager in this hobby, and, and that's my life connections with them. So we'll catch you guys next time on uh, the Green Bay and Western Lines. And for now, take care of yourselves.